Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I wanted to do a few flip throughs. These are all color by number books. I found out about this particular company through, oh my gosh, I forgot which which channel. Um, but there was another channel that showed these. I don't know if it was Nikki, Nikki and Niagara. Um, but it is by the Belba family and they have quite a few books out. So I picked up these four. There are two mosaics and then mystery. There are two mystery mosaics. This one is travel. This one is animal and then the two mystery ones. So let's look at the first one. Now there's not really going to be a whole lot to show you out of these four because these particular books do not give you a sample of the finished picture, which I, which I wish they did. All they do in the beginning, and I'll show you, is give you um, the name of each particular picture. So this is the cover. And the back gives you your uh, color palette. So, you know, like one is light pink. You know, our typical color palette. <laughs> okay, so yes, this one is Travel Mosaics. So we have our title page. And then we get into the contents. And here we go with just describing, I'll zoom you in a little, kind of just explaining what is on each page. So it starts out with page seven, and then they also number <laughs> the back of each page. So it goes every other number, page seven, page nine, page 11. Okay, so on the, the first picture is a Mexican close to the ocean, a bungalow, a painter, Paris, what is that, Bodrum, Bodrum, hmm. a Vietnamese girl, the flower fields, a geisha, oriental cherry, a lighthouse, a lodge in the mountains. And then we have a gondolier, a Tuscan courtyard, an Italian scooter, a knight's castle, a biplane, a Bolivian woman, a bear in a mountain landscape, color houses, a mill, grape, an old USA car, and on the embankment. So it goes through page 53. Now, these particular pictures in this book are not real detailed, as you can see. They're relatively easy. Let me zoom back out so you can see the whole picture. Okay, so there are large areas to color in this particular book. And because they are single-sided, and the reverse side is black, just like Sun Life drawing books. You could use your alcohol markers. Um, the lines are a little bit thin though, so I would almost think your water-based markers would maybe work a little bit better. If you use alcohol markers, you may have to stay away from the lines a little bit so it doesn't bleed outside the lines, but it definitely is possible. So that is that one. And like I said, some of these, it's really going to be hard to tell. It does say down here in the corner, again, the name of that particular picture. Here is the bungalow. Now to me, these really aren't mosaics. I mean, I guess they are, but yet they're not. <laughs> to me, they're almost more just pictures. Here's the painter. Here's Pattis. Patty. 
and yeah, Bodrum. And here we go with a Vietnamese girl. Flower fields. Oh, I bet you that one's pretty. And a geisha. Sakura. And here's the lighthouse. A lodge in the mountains. That'd be nice to have, wouldn't it? The gondolier. A Tuscan courtyard. An Italian scooter. So as you can see, some are landscape, some are portrait. This is your standard size book. Here. Eight and a half by eleven. Here is a knight's castle. A lot of windows in that. <laughs> it's a big castle. Biplane. A Bolivian woman. A lot of pictures in here. A bear in a mountain landscape. Color houses. I bet you that one will be colorful. <laughs> a mill. Grapes. An old USA car. That's kind of a strange name for the picture, isn't it? <laughs> 777. Seven, seven. They just like me having to flip this back and forth. On the embankment. Couldn't they just put all the landscape pictures together and all the portrait pictures together? <laughs> and that is the last one. And then at the back of the book, again, they give you your color palette, but it's in black and white. So to me, this back here is much nicer because they show you the color of the pencil. So this would be much nicer. kind of gives you an idea of the color that they're looking for. Because sometimes, you know, violet, you know, or even yellow, they're looking for different types of yellows. So nice to have this. All right. So again, that was Travel Mosaics. Again, another easier one. This one is Animal Mosaics. And the title page. Blink page. And then we go to the contents again. So we have, now I'm not sure what this means. Um, we have Maria slash zebra. And after the slash is the name of that particular animal. So I don't know if what's in front of it is the animal's name. Almost seems like it. <laughs> so this is Maria the zebra. Katie the butterfly. Aphrodite the cat. Oscar the camel. Peter and Tom the dinosaurs. Arthur the chameleon. Benjamin the elephant, Daniel's family for the clownfish, Jack is the eagle, Alexia the fox, Jennifer, Scarlet, and Myla are the flamingos. I wonder where they come up with these names. <laughs> Caesar the eagle owl, Freddy the giraffe, Tornado the horse. Wow. <laughs> William's family are the koalas. Jackie the panda, Richard the lion, Silver the parrot, Harry and Oliver are the penguins, Christopher the peacock, Barry the squirrel, Alexander the puffin, Liza the puma, and Adrian the unicorn. Cute names, huh? All right, so as in the other book, they do have the names down here in the corner. So you know this is Maria, <laughs> the zebra. 
So again, this particular book, you can make out the pictures. Here's the butterfly. And then we have the kitty cat. Here we go again. <laughs> Here's the camel. Can't really see the camel in there. Oh yeah, I guess. Dinosaurs. Here we have the chameleon. And the elephant. The clownfish. The eagle. The fox. The flamingos. The eagle owl. I never heard of an eagle owl. Hmm. The giraffe. I hope I'm not making you dizzy by uh, flipping this around. The horse. Tornado is such a cute name for a horse. The koalas. I love koalas. Koalas and pandas, my favorite. Ah, pandas next. <laughs> and we have the lion. The parrot. The penguins. They're cute too. Love penguins. The peacock. Ooh, a bitch of that's colorful, huh? The squirrel. The puffin. The puma. The unicorn. I think we're almost to the end here. Yep, and that is that. And again, in the back, they give you the black and white version of the colors. And each book has um, a different color palette. This one starts out with peach, whereas this one starts out with light pink. So, yeah, they are different which I don't particularly like but uh, mm, it is what it is right okay so that are that is the two uh, mosaic books of that kind now I have two mystery mosaic books these are quite different than those <laughs> these are much more detailed um, this one is called Passion. It says, new format of color by number mosaic books. They are three by three millimeter sections. Hmm, whatever that means, I'm not sure. Okay, here is the title page, same as on the cover. Okay, it says, this is a unique color by number mosaic book where final pictures appear only after you color all square sections. Each section, oh, here we go, is three by three millimeter. Okay. It says a unique palette of 22 colors, which is 18 classics and four additional color shades. Hmm is easy to find in any pen, pencil, or felt tip set. So, we'll uh, see what that means. <laughs> okay, at the beginning of the book, as in the others, um, are the names of each picture. Because again, in the back, we do not have copies of what the finished pictures are, which, again, I wish they did. Um, sometimes I like to cheat. I know many of you don't, but I kind of like to. <laughs> sometimes, not always. Um, but it is still giving you the name of each one. So, you know, if you want to go to the horse, you go to page 25, or here's wedding. 
um, I'm not going to in this case go through each one but yeah there's quite a few pictures in here now <laughs> let me zoom you in a little if you can see that there are lots and lots of tiny tiny little squares I would think you would need fine liners for this book and for the next book because yes these are very detailed of course when you have a lot of ones like this you don't color in each square you just outline that entire set of ones and then you color it in so that does you know when you have squares like this and they're all connected like that you do color all of the same color that are connected all at once so yeah again that makes it much much easier let's zoom you back out so you can see the entire page down at the bottom gives you your color palette um i don't know if they yes they do have the color palette in color at the back it does show you a couple of the colored versions here on the back cover so you can see um, because of the small squares they come out very real looks realistic looking I'm having a problem talking so yeah like I said it's not really gonna do you any good uh, with me flipping through here there you can kind of see the ballerina but uh, for the most part I don't think you're going to be able to tell what these pictures are so again i'm not going to bore you <laughs> with flipping through this book and just looking at squares <laughs> but the whoops let's put it on this pile lisa the next one so that was called um passion so it's just a variety of different pictures this one is called dogs the most popular dog breeds in the world so let's see what kind of dogs are in here here's the title page and again on the back you have your color palette which i am assuming is oh maybe this one is the same yes these two books are the same so it's kind of nice okay good to know okay so nameplate page cute paw prints <laughs> and here we have the contents again so oh and they give them names too again american bulldog is steve norman is the american staffordshire terrier never heard of that there's a basset hound there's bull terriers bulldog chihuahua Collie, Dachon, Dalmatian, Dobermans, German Shepherd, Husky, you know, all kinds of, you know, your typical dogs. Now again, not going to help much by looking at these squares, although this one you can kind of make out. Not so sure about that one, although it might be going sideways. I don't know. So, yeah, can't really make these out. And the squares are just as tiny as in the previous one. You can see the color palette along the side here. So, yes, this one must go a landscape. Can you make that out? I can't okay and then this one you know goes this way so if you look at the color palette you know whether it's landscape or portrait so you can kind of make out the pictures a little bit but uh yeah okay so again i am not going to flip through every single page of this book okay so again that is mystery mosaics dogs mystery mosaics passion and both of these are the squares that'll take a little bit longer 
Then we have animal mosaics and travel mosaics. And these are the two that are much easier to do. So it depends upon how much of a challenge you want or whether you just want a more simplistic color by number just to sit down and relax. So I will leave links to all four of these. These are on Amazon if you would like to try any of these out. So I hope everybody is having a terrific week. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.